Hey guys, good morning. It's Hugo's second day of school today. I'm about to get his um, clothes ready. It's like one of my new favorite things, picking out his outfit every day for school. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, so really fun thing, I am pretty sure I have a clogged duct. I have been getting for the past like, I guess a day and a half, maybe two days, I've been getting like a sharp pain right here. And I already talked to my aunt about it. She said to put like a hot, hot compress on it, I think, and to massage it. And so I've been doing that. I've been pumping. I'm already pumping. <laughs> have you guys ever dealt with this? Because it freaking hurts. It's not chronic, so it's not like, it's not as if the pain is happening all the time, but there's definitely like this stabbing pain that sort of like gets me every, every little bit. Um, and last night as like, as I was falling asleep, it was really bothering me and I started like really massaging it. And I did feel like, not like one specific lump, but like sort of not like a cluster of lumps. I don't know, I felt something. So I'm hoping today's a little bit better. Um, oh, that Spectra pump part came in too. So I've been using that and, you know, going back and forth and hoping that helps. <laughs> so yeah, give me all your, your tips because I, oh my gosh, I cannot have this turn into mastitis. I just cannot, we don't have the time. And I heard, like I had a friend who had mastitis and like apparently it's horrible, horrible, horrible. So, all right, I'm gonna go pick out Hugo's clothes now and we'll get on with our day. How cute does he look? I am so obsessed. He's so cute. His favorite thing ever. We are home from dropping Hugo off at school. I think it'll be so much easier for Theo when we, when him and I stay home and just Jeff drops Hugo off because Theodore seems to hate the car. <laughs> He's okay like after a little while he'll fall asleep, but the drive isn't very long and it's like very stop stop and start Because of traffic lights and stuff. So he was not happy um, Hugo had a little not I wouldn't say a hard time, but he was a little more apprehensive today they he was really excited to see his teachers and I think Because the teachers brought out those big dinosaurs again that they had brought out yesterday and he saw them and he got really excited and he held one and the teacher started bringing him inside and he turned around and looked at me and sort of like did that like, all right, mom, like now you come. And so I gave him a kiss and they let him inside and he didn't cry, but I could tell like he was a little more like, oh, wait, wait, what's, is it, this is happening again? <laughs> like, this is an everyday thing. So I think, you know, I, when I envisioned today, I knew, I had a feeling it was gonna be like a tiny bit tougher but I think it'll be good and he'll be fine. So it's 9.30 now, well, it's 9.40. And so we have like, oh my gosh, we have like an hour and 45 minutes, which is good. I um, have a ginormous pile of laundry next to me that needs to be folded. And so, yeah, it feels strange. <laughs> It felt, it felt strange yesterday, but it felt more, like there was more nervous energy coming from me. Today, there's less of that nervous energy and just like, it feels a little quieter. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm sure he's gonna have a great day, right, Elsie? It'll give mommy a little bit of time to do some laundry. Ooh, also, my boob was hurting me in the car. I need to pump. I haven't pumped since like seven, so we're getting to that time. So after I'm done feeding him, I'll pump. But yeah, I was getting that like stabby pain on the left side. Not fun, not fun at all. I was reading an article, it was really funny. I was reading an article about like how to clear a clogged duck and it was like whatever one came up first, it said, one of the funny things was it said rest. It's like, LOL, rest? <laughs> when am I gonna rest? And then another thing was like, take a hot shower and massage your boob in the shower. It's like, again, it sounds really nice and I'm sure it helps, but like, when am I gonna take a hot shower? And like, when am I gonna have time to, to like massage my boob in the shower? I guess tomorrow, tomorrow's Saturday. Tomorrow though, we have Hugo's doctor's appointment. He has um, his three-year checkup. 
tomorrow and we're gonna like we're all going so that'll be like a decent portion of the day but yeah i mean i have to shower at some point so like at some point when i shower i will stash my boob but i just had a chuckle when i was reading that article because it was like yeah i wish i had the time to rest and shower i'm sure both of those things oh and another thing was stress it was like don't be stressed because if if you're stressed i forget like i think it's the cortisol like affects your letdown or something again <laughs> I mean, this was a stressful week. This was a bit of an outlier of a week. It was stressful and totally new, but I was like, all right, well, I'm zero for three so far. I guess I would be three for three. No, zero for three. Maybe three for, th I don't know. All I know is that I have not been able to rest this week. I have been super stressed and I haven't been able to take a shower <laughs> since the weekend. So, you know, oh, uh oh, I think I did change your baby, huh? Yeah. Oh boy. Okay. I just pumped and it was super painful. <sighs> yeah, right in there. <sighs> if you guys have any like tricks or tips and stuff for getting rid of clogged ducts, let me know. Because like I've just been like really, ow, like massaging into it. Ow, and pumping but like beyond that I don't know what to do <laughs> yikes Theodore is teething so badly <laughs> is that fun yeah poor little guy he's been drooling so much and then like anything I give him he tries to chew on Guys, I just um, changed Theodore and put him in this three-month onesie, and it's a little tight. I think he might be growing out of the three-month onesies. He's also getting a little chunky. Yay! He has um, his doctor's appointment, not tomorrow, but next weekend, so we'll know for sure. It's a little after one. Hugo had another great day at school. The teachers didn't like explicitly say that he did, which makes me think that he must have. Um, and he seemed really happy when he came out. And then when it was time to go, he was like waving goodbye to everyone and saying, bye, bye. And they gave me another little um, piece of schoolwork that he did. You're so cute, so cute. Um, so he's napping now, which is nice. And he's like actually sleeping. Yesterday, he just was sort of like hanging out in his room during nap time and he didn't really sleep but today he's actually sleeping and this guy just woke up gave him a bottle and yeah i put away most of the laundry and you know, it's just like hugo stuff so i feel like kind of on top of things today as weird as that sounds feels pretty good sorry Goonie. guess who needs to do more tummy time you i'm sorry i know it's the worst but it'll make you strong Theodore down for a nap. I think I'm gonna have to pull out his six month onesies either later today or tomorrow um, because they're really feeling like pretty snug on him. Pretty tight, so yay, that's good. Um, so I'm gonna throw in a load of laundry and once I'm done with this, I'm gonna make you go some lunch because. I'm sure he'll be up soon. And he'll be hungry. You yeah, know, just a um, day in life over here. <laughs> oh, also, I ordered, I'm looking at Hugo's little shoes. These are size 8, and they're too small on him. My boys are growing so quickly. Uh, so I ordered him some more sneakers this morning uh, because these are too small. Go figure. There you go. Right, of course, like right when I put these little labels in them. But it's fine. I was thinking like, like these are in really good condition so i'm going to save these for theodore and if he wears these to school and he needs them to be labeled i can always just put the label over over this label so that's not a problem you know always thinking ahead <laughs> like it's like my mom's superpower i always think ahead and i'm always thinking of like 17,000 different scenarios and like how i can be, be prepared for each one anyone else I officially have a child in school. <laughs> this is like my rite of passage. I am now decorating my fridge with his artwork and you can bet that I will be keeping both of these things forever. 
gonna share something really bizarre with you, but can I just say these are the best Ziploc bags ever. These are the Power Shield Technology Gallon Size Ziploc bags. They're amazing, and let me tell you why. But let me tell you in case you're wondering. I use them for like packing Hugo's diapers, or I think I showed this, like I packed some of his clothes, like spare clothes for school and stuff. What I noticed is that they're almost like airtight. So they do that same thing that like um, space saver bags do, which is when you like push the air out of them, they keep the air out. So the bag isn't bulky. It's really super compact and like space saving. I think that's so cool. And like, there's no like, there's no fancy anything. You just push the air out as you're zippering it. And once it's zippered, it's, you have this like perfect little, anybody? Yeah? If you try these, they're amazing. So I'm about to have to stare at my messy pantry. Uh, I'm just packing Hugo's backpack for Monday that way. And keep in mind everything I got the, um, the doctor, the teacher said she needed. Um, Theodore is still napping. He's been napping now for like an hour and a half, which is kind of amazing. I think he was so tired. He's so tired from like in and out of the car all morning. And um, yeah, I can't believe it. It's, it's a little after three o'clock. He's still asleep. Hugo is having some lunch and watching a little TV. And just like that. Um, I actually think I'm going to finish this little vlog out here. You guys have to let me know if you are enjoying these vlogs. I know that they're kind of random. Um, I usually do like a mix of like vlogs and sit down videos, but we just haven't had any time. <laughs> haven't had any time to sit down and like, you know, do a sit down video. But I actually like enjoy doing mostly vlogs and I feel like, I don't know, it's, it's more conducive to our current life and um, more conducive to the amount of time that I have <laughs> you know and I still like want to talk to you guys and share things with you so let's close it out here oh my gosh Hugo did his first week of school virtually and in person what a momentous occasion thank you guys so much for all of your kind words and sweet thoughts and messages this week for Hugo and for me that was so so incredibly kind and I feel like he's so incredibly lucky to have just such a huge network of people who, who love him. So thank you. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.